everything's custom variables that are linked to ACSS here. So I was trying to like make everything line up with everything else here. So uh, you know this this is a frame. Uh, this is a frame. Um, everything else is frames except this section because I had this little thing here. Um, so let's get into it. So let's go over to the builder. So how did I do this? Actually, let's go back. So what I did is uh, I created this whole thing as a grid, this whole section. So there's no like, you know, a little container in here. Um, it's just the entire thing is a grid. Uh, this edge here is the gap. And then you have like, uh, pardon me, a padding. Um, sorry, I, I should call that a gutter. So this is a gutter here, gutter, gutter, gutter. But they're also, so this is a column actually. So column there. And then this is the halfway mark. And then the end of the other halfway mark and then a gutter here. So it's four columns total. And then for rows, it's one row here, which is the gutter. And then you have another row here for this section of content. Uh, and then there's this section here, which is a row. Uh, and then you have the gutter down here, which is another row. So I think uh, that's like four down here and four across. So that's the, the grid that I came up with. And then for this area here, this has its own grid. So that's like, let's see, column one and then column two. So this is column two and then row, uh, let's see, two, two to three, I believe. So this little area, I created a, a, a div and then I put this grid uh, column two. So there's a grid here. And then this is also the, this is a, part me, a column here and then another column. Uh, and then within here, I, I just laid everything out using uh, ACSS, like the row gaps and stuff here. Uh, and this over here is a um, a div that stretches full height, and then the background's gray. And then what I did is I put a pseudo pseudo element inside it, which is purple, gave it a height and a width of 100%, and I made it position sticky so that when I come down this, it it kind of glides down, which is nice. So uh, that's the overall picture. And then over here, um, I have a div, which I I spanned from like this middle part to the end, and then also down. So now it touches the very bottom. Uh, what's ha what's hard is when you have like a container in here, it's really hard to break the image out of the container. I found I could do it to the right, but to the bottom was a real hassle. So it was just easier for me to do this from scratch. So uh, let's go into the builder. I'll show you the exact grid stuff I got. So we're at the top level of this section. And I'm calling it process A. Uh, padding, I just zeroed out the padding. I zeroed out the gap. And then I put grid template columns. So this is this is like pretty tricky for me. Probably the trickiest part of everything was just setting up the grid. So over here, this is these are columns, by the way. So we got column here. Uh, this is the uh, ACSS padding here on the left. So that's just like, you know, no matter what, like we want to have this padding on the corner. Okay, that's what that is. Um, but the thing is you got to let it grow. So, um, and that's what the 1FR is for. So that's what lets it like, you know, if you have a bigger screen, it's not just going to be like a padding of this. Um, it's going to like let this, all this other content like go out to the right um, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then we got this part here, which is, I put it 640 pixels. So that's like, um, I wanted to get this kind of to mimic the container, which is 1280. So I just cut it in half. So 640 here, 640 there. Um, and then, okay, so the min is auto. So uh, by auto, I'm saying like, yeah, you can shrink it, okay? Uh, but the maximum size is is going to be 640 pixels, so don't get bigger than that, but shrink to nothing, okay? And then I did that the same with this side over here, uh, and then this other part is for the gutter on the right. Let's see if we can. So uh, this gutter right here again, okay? So this is saying uh, the the minimum, like you don't want to go below this ACSS padding here, but you want to be able to um, get bigger. Uh, have like a bigger margin here, you could, if you want to call it that. Uh, and then for the rows, I got the gutter on the top. 
that's an ACSS variable. And then auto, just meaning like, hey, make this as big as the content within it. That's kind of how I understand it. And then we have another auto here. Oops. Let's go back. Um, and then we have another auto for this section here. So it's like, hey, just be as big as whatever content is, is in there. Uh, and then the gutter right here, again, is connected to an ACSS variable. Got it? Uh, and then the next complex section was here, which I'll show you. Uh, and by the way, this is coming from uh, Untitled UI. So this kind of section here, I I sort of made it to for my purposes, but this is from Untitled UI if you're interested. Um, so now let's go to this. So this is this content, I called it content. And then we're gonna have a display of grid and then grid template columns. So this first column is for that little sliver, that little thing that shows you what step you're on. And then the rest of it is just like one of our, just like a, like whatever, whatever other content you have here, just make it one FR. So that's a pretty simple setup for grid template columns. There's no row, really rows. Uh, this is just saying like, hey, I wanna position this content within the wider grid at grid row three and then span two to three, All right? Uh, let's see, what else can I say? We got the container. So the container is for, for all these steps here. There's not much to say about this. It's just saying, hey, put it um, at the end of this very small grid, wider grid. Uh, give me a little gap between. Um, ba -da -ba -da. And then padding. So I'm kind of like um, giving it padding on this right side. And then I give this like a little padding on its left side. Okay. And then I'll show you the media here. Uh, the strip, by the way. So we have, this is the little purple thing. And then this is the gray thing behind it. For media. We got, I'm just positioning that image right there. And then I'm saying, hey, give it some space on the left. Border. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe I should add a border. Uh, let's see, it's like it's var, uh, uh, da, 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 da. No, that's, yeah, var radius. You know, I think I already gave it somewhere else. I think I put it on, <laughs> It's showing it, so it must be somewhere. But anyways, like there's like a, a border here, obviously. Maybe it is uh, hiding in an ID level? No. Okay. I'll have to figure that out later. But yeah, there is some kind of border there. With the image, we said it's object fit cover, height, width, uh, height 100% with 100%. So it's like, hey, fill out that div. So yeah, that's about it. Hope it helps somebody. Cheers.